After a brief renaissance, Monaco had once again plunged into worry with the threat of relegation looming over the club. No wins for Leonardo Yardim since mid-March and two consecutive defeats against Satichem and Nîmes had brought them on the threshold of the bottom three. A huge game therefore against Amiens, the Stade Louis II, just two points separating both teams and a direct duel for survival. Christophe Pelissier's men with a big task ahead of them considering they had the third worst away record in the league. And Amiens' defence almost undone early on. Regis Gürtner providing a good save. But Monaco in the mood on the evening to try and get that goal, even though there was an early chance for Girassi. But he blasted over Benaglio's goal. Golovin's corner led to Falcao's goal. A horrific mistake by Regis Gürtner. And the Colombian getting his 15th goal of the season. Hint of a foul, perhaps, as he leans on the defender. But it's not given by the referee. And regardless, Gürtner's mistake is inexcusable at this level. A strike from distance. And the ball put wide by Canate. Benaglio with the save. And Canate really has to score. He doesn't get it on target. And it's a very costly one for Amya. Monaco, one goal up at the break. The Principality side. Still living dangerously and knowing that another goal would settle plenty of nerves. But Amya kept on coming forwards. Benaglio once again called into action. The goalkeeper forced to make a good save from Peters, a strike from distance. Jelson Martins, a true revelation for Monaco this season. Wrecking havoc. Jemison with the shot. Monaco's players appealing for a penalty, but nothing given. Gürtner relieved to see that one go well wide of his goal but the goalkeeper could do nothing about the next attempt Golovin clear and the Russian scoring his third goal of the season his first year with the Principality side really marred by injuries but he took that one well reminiscent of the Golovin we saw at the World Cup in Russia and importantly a two goal cushion for Monaco in a very important game for their survival Benaglio in goal keeping out Otero's free kick emphatically with another brilliant save Monaco eager to keep a clean sheet they are still not mathematically safe but there is a big sigh of relief in the Principality for Amiens, their future will be decided on the final day of the season against Gangon.